What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks where we unbox and review cool shit almost every single day. And we've got yet another figure review. This one actually took me a lot longer to film than I wanted it to, but I'm finally getting around to it. And the reason for that is I actually found this figure at a Target a couple weeks ago for $20. And the plan was to not do a figure review until I had two of these, one to keep into the box and one to take out of the box. But I haven't seen another Halloween 2 figure at any of the Targets or even any of the other local stores that carry this kind of stuff. And once I started browsing online, I realized that this was probably mislabeled at the store. There's no reason that this should have been $20, but it was, and it was the only one that they had, and every single figure that I've seen online, you can't find for less than $40, and a lot of the times that doesn't even include the shipping, so I just went ahead and bit the bullet and ordered another one, and that means that we can take this one out of the package. So, today's review is going to be on the Halloween 2 Ultimate Michael Myers by NECA. Now, I am definitely going to have a lot to say about this figure because Halloween 2 is my favorite Halloween, rivaled right up there with H40, as well as Dick Warlock's portrayal of Michael Myers being my favorite, only being closely followed by James Jude Courtney in Halloween 40 as well. So clearly, I've seen this figure inside of the package here. I'll go ahead and show it to you guys. I think it looks pretty fucking swell. Definitely the best Michael Myers that NECA offers, as far as the mask and the sculpt and the shape and everything goes. Still think they made him a little too short and stout and wide. I know Dick Warlock was a shorter guy, but the amount of bulk that they added to this figure just seems to kind of throw his shape off a little bit. But before we get in there, I will give you guys a nice look at the box itself. Obviously, we've got the Halloween 2 intro sequence pumpkin there. And this was often seen on the covers of the movie itself, whether they're on DVD or old VHS tapes. So it's just become a staple of Halloween 2, definitely the Halloween 2 signature thing. And then on the back here, we've got a nice look at the figure, along with some other photos of the figure in different lighting situations and from different angles. Definitely makes it look pretty mean. So we'll go ahead and get on into the packaging and uh, we'll unbox this thing, which I'm really sad about. Also, on the inside there, when you open it up, is a very, very mean picture of the figure. I definitely dig the way that it looks right there with him looking down and stuff. Super, super evil. So, bravo to whoever did those photos. They look fantastic. Hopefully, I can get some shots of my figure looking that well. I was going to try to not tear up the box, but immediately tore the box up because of this stupid fucking tape that's on there. It has no reason to be there because clearly this thing isn't just going to come open. So stop ruining boxes, please. The tape is literally still holding. Okay, good fucking God. You know what really grinds my gears? You know what really grinds my gears? All right, we're gonna go ahead and pull him out of here. There we go. And I'm gonna be honest, looking at him without the front window, the front piece of plastic inside of the box, it looks even better than before, so that is very, very cool. Not so sad about opening it now because it looks fantastic. Don't know how well you guys can see it there. Hopefully there's not too much of a glare because of the plastic and the light. But obviously we've got a few different hand choices, pretty standard for NECA stuff. We've got a few different weapon choices, which I definitely dig. My favorite scene in Halloween 2 is the Elrod scene, and they included the Elrod knife, which is super, super cool. Probably how I will display him, even though the hammer is fucking brutal, and the scalpel is probably what's most well known for Halloween 2. They've even included the little syringe there, so. So bravo to them for including that stuff. They could have just given us a knife, and I think that most casual collectors would think, oh yeah, it's a butcher knife. But they went ahead and went the extra mile and gave us stuff straight from the movie that I would say mostly only hardcore fans know about. We've also got the pumpkin here and I do believe that that splits in half and reveals the skull. It definitely looks like it does but I can't be too sure. I actually want to pop that out of there right now and take a look. Yeah it does. Sick. There you go, we got the skull from inside of the pumpkin, just like in the intro during the credits, so that is fucking cool. And you can position him any way that you want him. I know the reason for having that in the movie, but I'm honestly probably going to keep the pumpkin as a pumpkin because I just kind of think that it's corny to have a skull coming out of a pumpkin. Like I said, I know the reason that they did it, but it just kind of seems more like sci-fi or like paranormal horror or something, I don't know. You can also see that we've got two extra heads. One of them is the Blood Tears version of Michael Myers towards the end of the movie, and the other head is going to be Ben Tramer's mask, so you can technically have a Ben Tramer figure if you wanted. I know that he has like become a meme amongst the Halloween thing that I just, I really don't understand, but it is what it is, so I'm sure that there are some people out there that really do have this set up as a Ben Tramer figure, and good for them, I guess. All right, we'll go ahead and take the figure out of the packaging here 
get him standing on his own and take a look at him. He definitely looks slimmer, definitely looks slimmer than I thought he was initially, which is very cool because one of my biggest complaints about this figure was the fact that they kind of bulked him out too much, especially for his size, like his height and stuff. But seeing it out of the packaging, it doesn't look so weird. And uh, this one definitely looks better than the H40 figure that they released because clearly James Jude Courtney was a very tall, skinny man and the figure just doesn't look tall and skinny. It looks far too stocky, like the jumpsuit doesn't fit this bloated man or something. I don't know how to explain it, but I know that you guys know what I'm talking about. And again, as far as the sculpt itself goes, especially for the mask, this is definitely the best that they put out as far as Michael Myers goes. Definitely the truest to the original as far as replicating the look. So I'm very, very happy with the fact that they have nailed this mask. H2 was hands down the most evil Michael Myers that I can remember from the series, and it wasn't even on purpose. Like that mask wasn't designed for the movie. They they just reused the original, which was just a Captain Kirk mask spray painted white with some features removed and some alterations made, and it just came out to be this thing. And you can say what you want about Nick Castle, but Dick Warlock definitely made the character far more evil, not only with the look, but with his characteristics and his movements and stuff. And I'm gonna be honest, I waited so long for a nice Halloween 2 figure because they really weren't on the market at all before this, and I'm not sure why it took so long. So this gives me hope that we will potentially have a nice Halloween 4 figure. And that I cannot fucking wait for because Halloween 2 is my favorite, but Halloween 4 is probably the most sentimental movie for me. And I know that Michael Myers looks silly in some of the movie, but nostalgia plays tricks on you and can make things cool that aren't necessarily cool. So I'm definitely excited to see where NECA goes from here. Obviously, we've got the trick-or-treaters coming from Halloween 3, and I can only imagine that next year there will be more Michael Myers releases, especially with the movie coming out in 2021. So all we can do is wait, but for this, I definitely give this a big old thumbs up. I think NECA is doing what they need to do, and a lot of people gave me grief for hating on NECA when I unboxed that bootleg and told NECA that they need to learn, but this is definitely better than that bootleg. I will say that that Halloween 1 bootleg still looks better than my actual NECA Halloween 1 figures, but I don't know if they could hit the nail on the head as hard with this one because this is a fantastic figure and I am definitely stoked about it. I'm actually really glad that I took that out of the box because I like it a lot more now that it's not behind the cellophane, now that I can hold it in my hands and see it, and I cannot wait to add it to the collection. So even though I think I I got lucky with scoring mine for 20 bucks. I would easily drop another $40 for another one in the box. I would definitely give this figure a big thumbs up, and that is coming from the most diehard Halloween 2 fan that you can find. Now I'm just excited for the other one to get here so I can know that I have two of them because I'm a fucking psychopath. So NECA Halloween 2 Ultimate Michael Myers figure gets a big thumbs up from the House of Masks. And I guess all that's left is to go ahead and show this off with some nice hero shots, let you get a nice up close look at this thing. And that will be that. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed. Say no to drugs and alcohol, and until next time, we will see you later.
plugging, popping, wheelies driving like the NASCAR, 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 NASCAR. You might see him off in traffic, he be moving around. I hate AJ Good, tag it all around the town. I hate AJ Good. Traffic, keep me moving around. I hate it, take a tag it.